On Monday, we heard state health leaders talk COVID-19 and vaccinations, and we learned data shows vaccines at long-term care facilities are having a positive impact. Approximately 88% of residents and 66% of staff have been vaccinated across these facilities in the state. Scott Bookman, Colorado's COVID-19 incident commander, says this has led to a dramatic decrease of coronavirus cases and deaths. This is the evidence that we have been hoping to see. This is the true light that we have been waiting for. This is the impact that vaccines are having. It is starting to stem the tide of cases in these facilities. Health officials say as of February, long-term care facilities make up less than 1% of infections across the state. While the data shows we're moving in a positive direction, the state is still waiting before giving the green light for these facilities to lift indoor visitation restrictions. We know that it is critical for resident well-being to have visitation. Most facilities across the state allow indoor visits with restrictions, including enforcing social distancing. The challenge is the vaccine doesn't necessarily stop people from getting the virus. It stops people from dying from the virus. Right now, the task is working to keep the virus from spreading in these facilities where only a percentage of staff and residents have chosen to take the vaccine. Health leaders say it's not over and they'll continue to work to get our state in a better place. We are doing all that we can across the state to make sure that we get vaccine into arms as quickly as possible to end this crisis as quickly as possible. So right now, the state health department says they're still waiting on guidance from the CDC when it comes to lowering restrictions when it comes to visitation at these facilities. Right now, there is limited visitation with guidelines. We have a list of those guidelines on our website. Just head to 9news.com. Corey. It'll be nice when all of that opens back up. Eddie, thank you.